your Storm Team 8 Tracking Center. This is a winter weather alert. Hey, good evening, everybody. Welcome back to uh, News Ed at 6 o'clock. Look, we've been talking about the snow, Blake. Everybody's been sending in pictures. We've seen it falling all over West Michigan. I know it's intensifying as we speak. Is it going to get worse in certain areas in, Grand in, in West Michigan, rather? Yeah, Donovan, this evening's going to be rough for the Grand Rapids area. It's already been rough today, and again, that snow's starting to pick up a little bit more. You can certainly see the trend if we take it to Storm Track Live. What's happening is we keep having all these little disturbances move across the lake. So you see the light snow showers over in Wisconsin. Well, as that moves across Lake Michigan and gets uh, enhanced by the moisture from the lake, and that's where we're seeing those darker shades of blue and that heavy snow that has broken out now across much of West Michigan, extending from basically South Haven up to uh, far northern Muskegon County over just east of Grand Rapids. Ionia westward is really where we're seeing that heaviest snowfall at this hour. And if we take a bit of a closer view, you could see essentially all of Ottawa, Kent, Algon, and Muskegon counties are under moderate or heavy snow. And that's been the case really throughout much of the day today. And that's what's allowed those uh, snowfall totals to really begin to stack up. Again, it's hard to really pinpoint any specific uh, community that's picking up on heavy snow because just about everywhere is. If you're in Grand Rapids, if you're in Hudsonville, down to Jamestown, over to Coopersville, Marr, and up towards Fruitport, Muskegon, you're seeing that snow this evening, and that's going to continue. Here's a look at Heritage Hill here in Grand Rapids. Have a hard time seeing the buildings downtown. That's just how heavy the snow is coming down, and a lot of it's sticking to those roadways. You see the plows hard at work at the Gerald R. Ford Airport. They have their work cut out for them this evening and overnight as that snow continues. To fall. Not necessarily as heavy at the airport as it is farther west, but still they're seeing their fair share. Here's a look at some totals. Vickeryville in Muskegon County, the winner at over 13 inches so far. Granville over a foot. Brunswick and Nuego County seen 11 inches, as has Glen. Sparta just under 11 inches. Here's some more totals for you. Wyoming coming in at almost 11 inches. Hopkins 10 inches. I measured just under 10 inches in Georgetown Township, but that was three hours ago, so there's a good chance they're close to a foot now. Fruitport, Colton sent this to me nine inches in Muskegon County and Byron Center just under nine inches. So significant snow just about everywhere. Winter weather advisory has been extended until 11 a.m. Sunday for almost all West Michigan, the exception being Kalamazoo and Calhoun counties. It's a really off for the northwest, where we've already seen that heavy snow, and that's expected to continue. Future cast shows the moderate to heavy snow continuing for us this evening through the overnight. It's really not until close to daybreak tomorrow where we start to see that lake effect machine shut off. But notice that by we, the time we get to sunrise, a lot of it will just be light snow showers or flurries. So if you have any travel plans heading to church tomorrow morning, uh, conditions should be improving throughout the day on Sunday. We're still expecting another one to three inches across the same areas that have already seen significant snow. Isolated spots of up to four inches are possible. 27 in Grand Rapids, 26 in Kalamazoo and Battle Creek. Winds out of the south southwest, or excuse me, west southwest at about 10 to 15 miles per hour. And that's knocking that wind chill down to the teens for much of West Michigan. It's feeling like just 17 in Grand Rapids and 14 in Battle Creek. Your evening planner for tonight in Grand Rapids, 27 degrees or 11 o'clock temperatures. That lake effect snow continues. Your eight day forecast shows quiet weather for us once we get to the day on Monday. Look what comes after that, though. <laughs> We're expecting uh, temperatures not only to continue to fall, high temperatures for Christmas Day forecasted to be in the teens at this point, but we have the potential for widespread snow late next week. So if you do have travel plans, I'm sure a lot of you do, you're going to want to keep close tabs with our forecast over the next several days as we continue to hone in on the details. In the meantime, it's a snowy evening, a good night to stay home tonight. So it looks like we really will have a white Christmas after all. It's going to take a miracle for us to not have a white Christmas here in Grand Rapids. So I like the way you put that, brother. Thank exactly. you so much.